Hi everyone, welcome to October Books. I have four of them and I loved all of them, but one of them was hysterically funny. So the first one is obviously not the funny one. It's actually based on real life events and it's called The Tattooist of Auschwitz. It's very heartbreaking and yet it has hope. Uh, it's hard to describe, it's a love story. It is about a young man who arrives there. I learned a lot of things about Auschwitz, which I've read so much historical fiction, I didn't know I could still learn things, but apparently families had to offer up one of their sons in the beginning, and they didn't know where they were going, and he arrived on a train at Auschwitz. He actually ended up with the coveted job of being the tattooist, who tattooed every prisoner that came in. And it unfolds from there. I won't share too much about it, but it was an amazingly well-told book. I just enjoyed every minute of it as much as you can with that type of uh, subject matter. But I thought it was very well done and knowing it was a true book, it really moved my heart. The next book is called Jar of Hearts and it starts off with a young girl who's on the career path, doing really well at her little startup company. Um, she's dating the president, CEO, they're engaged and police walk in to arrest her she's not surprised. It's for a murder. And it flashes back to her with two of her friends, I think 10 years ago, when they were in high school, and what unfolds from there. It was a thriller. It was, you know, one of those types of books of beach read, but I really enjoyed it, and I thought it was very well told. I, I really liked it. This next book is not gonna be for everyone. It's called If We Were Villains. If you don't like Shakespeare, skip to the next time and I'll put the times below. You will not like this. It is seven kids that are going to a small university to study Shakespeare. And they are told by the teachers how they are pursuing a nobler passion because they aren't going after money and that you know this is a lifelong calling and they really have a lot of um, passion and belief in their studies of acting as Shakespearean actors. They form a friendship and this is very much about friendship about so many different layers of things but the author ca captures the pompousness of youth, how they think they know everything and more than adults, and just how this whole messy circumstance came to unfold. I really enjoyed it. I thought that it was extremely well done and I would definitely read more by this author. Like I said, it's not for everyone. So you need to consider if you like Shakespeare because even outside of their studying Shakespeare, there is pages and pages of them talking in Shakespearean language. So make sure that you consider if that would be your cup of tea or not. The final one, I don't know who wouldn't like this. It was hysterical. There was times when I was laying in bed laughing and Mark was like, what are you doing? Are you crying? And I was shaking so hard. It was because I was laughing reading this book. It was so good. It's called, It Ain't So Awful Falafel. And it is about a young girl who's probably 12 and her father and mother, they're from Iran and they move over here for his job as an engineer. They lived in Compton, California, then they move back. They end up coming back again to America and the mother's just not happy. And so they end up then moving again and Newport Beach seems to be, they settle in to the new area and she makes friends. It has such a sense of humor. It captures so much. It captures what it's like to be 12 years old with beanbag chairs and Bonnie Bell lipstick that hung around your neck in that necklace, uh, puka shells, just all of the things that kids were into. It captures what it would be like to be an immigrant who doesn't speak that language and she ends up being the translator for her mother. Um, just understanding so many of the American ways that aren't common for Iranians and it also captures all the Iran situation, the hostage taking, uh, Ayatollah Khomeini, the overthrow of the Shah, just all of those things from their perspective of that's their homeland and being here in America. 
It was extremely well done. The author was hysterically funny. I can still crack myself up just thinking back to some of the parts of the book. I loved it and will definitely be reading more by this author. If you want a lighthearted, fun book, it still educates about the historical fiction part, but it's just really enjoyable. Highly recommend that. So I hope you found a book or two that would appeal to you. And as always, I love hearing your recommendations. So please leave them below. And thank you so much for spending some of your day with me. I hope you have an amazing day and we'll talk to you next time.